how the Cardinals plan to cut the ribbon for this $100 million project so opening day I next to April. A hot day for some of the top tennis players in the world in St. Louis this week. After the takes us to the wheelchair championship in Forest Park to see how these top athletes beat the heat. Lucy Schuker came all the way from England in order to play some tennis today in Forest Park. It's one of the hardest things that you hit a ball and you've got to figure out what part of the court to cover more so than the other. Schuker is one of 85 professional tennis players in St. Louis this week for the U.S. Open Wheelchair Tennis Championships. And we do literally have the very best in the world. These are the Serena Williams and the Rafa Nadals of the wheelchair community. We have players here from well over 20 countries. We have Olympic gold medalists. Today, play began at the Dwight Davis Tennis Center as There's temperature set. That's your match. Did I make it in there? Player, the sun is no. a serious topic. <laughs> Some of the quad players uh, in all of this heat actually have lost the ability to sweat. So see folks out spraying. It's very, very hard for me to play against very good players who sweat. And like, so this one player play against a player who sweats, who doesn't have, like, I, uh, I have to tape my racket to the hand, to you, to the, my hand to the racket, and I have to tape it, otherwise I cannot hit the ball. In wheelchair tennis, the ball is allowed to bounce twice, but you won't see that happen very often with these players. After all, they take this game very seriously, as it's taken them... There you are, there you are baby! ...with emotion and physical... Woo, just on TV! Here in January, the Far East, America, Europe... Um, and it's great. Oh, yeah. I'd never have traveled as much as I traveled in one year, and I probably would have done it in a lifetime. And it's all thanks to a game that's leveled the clay courts for many. Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News. The U.S. Open, U.S. Wheelchair Championships continues on Sunday. Now, tomorrow, there will be a clinic in Forest Park in the afternoon from.